The CDC says the Omicron variant now makes up 75% of cases in the U.S. The new highly contagious variant paired with holiday gatherings has testing and vaccination sites busy today. To help meet demand, the Rhode Island Department of Health opened a new testing site just this morning at St. Joseph Health Center in Providence. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to people taking precautions today. She joins us live at East Providence with the details. Brittany. Well, Kim Shannon, we are at the East Providence Senior Center, which is one of the state-run testing sites. It's open here for about another hour, which is the same amount of time some people tell us they waited in line just to get a test. The line for a COVID test extends the Senior Center parking lot. I have been here um, like five or six times. I've never waited in line before. But Angelica St. John didn't just wait in line. The East Providence resident also waited days just to get an appointment. I made an appointment that was the only one from four days ago. St. John opted to get a PCR test after her daughter came in close contact to someone who tested positive. Others in line today tell me it's a safeguard after seeing family for Christmas. We're here just for precautions, you know, after the holidays. Um, um, and then starting up with school again and, you know, doing a little fun activities, just kind of making sure everyone's healthy. The high demand also impacting vaccination sites. In East Providence, a former Taunton Avenue grocery store now vaccinates a thousand people a day. We have a lot more people coming in. Today was one of the site's busiest. Captain John Potman tells me the Omicron variant surge seems to be a driving factor. Right now with some of the new variants, it's transmitting a lot more uh, easily and I think people are concerned. I also think as time wears on and you start to personally know somebody that's had COVID um, and you've seen the devastating effects that it can have, um, that that drives people to get vaccinated as well. And there are also testing sites in Providence, Barrington, Blackstone, and Bristol. For more information on where to get tested or vaccinated, you can head to our website at WPRI.com. The Department of Health also releasing this afternoon that their call center is receiving a heavy, heavy amount of calls of people looking to schedule tests. They are now asking people to do so. Schedule those online. For now, live in East Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Well, following the holidays, it's been nearly impossible to find rapid tests in pharmacies. It's also difficult to find appointments at state-run sites. The state opened a new site today, but the lines were still long. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live now from one site with the details. Brittany? Well, Kim Shannon, the state-run testing site here at the East Providence Senior Center just closed a few minutes ago at 6 p.m., but the line was consistent throughout the day with hundreds of people getting tested. I get here at 11:30, so <laughs> it's 12. It's almost 12. It's, it's close to 12:30 now. Angelica St. John and her daughter braved the cold in this line for an hour Monday to get a PCR test, a test they've been waiting to pass for four days. My daughter was a close contact to somebody that tested positive. I wasn't able to even get a test until today. This was from like four days ago. And while the St. John's feel okay, the uncertainty kept the East Providence family home for the holidays due to limited testing appointments. My mom is a high risk and everything like that, you know, and we just wanted to, you know, stay safe, stay careful. I was supposed to go see some friends too for Christmas Eve, but we just didn't. We were just at home. Testing and vaccination sites in high demand following the holiday weekend and surge concerns. To help meet demand, the state opened a new testing site this morning at St. Joseph Hospital in Providence, open seven days a week. In East Providence, a former Taunton Ave grocery store now offers a space to vaccinate a thousand people a day. The city's fire department helps run the site. They tell me today has been the site's busiest yet, but for them, it's also been a hectic year. This has been the busiest year uh, for the East Providence fire department where uh, just under 13,000 uh, incidents this year, most of which are EMS, uh, and certainly being driven by many things, but certainly COVID-like illness. Our goal is to vaccinate as many people as possible. Whether it's getting a booster or taking a test, Rhode Islanders took action. We're here just for precautions, you know, after the holidays. Got my Moderna booster. It's very quick, very easy. I just find it's really important, especially with COVID on the rise again, better safe than sorry. And the site offers both PCR and rapid tests and is open seven days a week. Tomorrow's hours are 8 a.m. through 6 p.m. Live in East Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.